Now the next thing I might want to know is where the center line is. Now I might say, you thought I was going to put it right in the middle, didn't you? It could be way over here. So there's the back of the head. Look at that. All right? So what I've done is I've made another level of distinction. Get it? That's why finding the center line is really important. So there's this tendency to go on and do detail way too soon before you find out these fundamental things about what the subject is doing. Now what the subject is doing is always relative to your point of view. It's relative to your angle. It's going to be different for you than it is for you. Right? Because, I mean, you may be seeing the same action, but seeing aspects of that action that um, uh, just tell a different kind of story. Because you've got such a, uh, uh, you've got, we've got a spectrum of um, different possibilities, and you know, you're like 180 almost from one another to the subject, and uh, there may be a, a totally different story coming in the door than going out of the door. You could say she's going out of the door, and he's saying she's coming in the door. Those are two different stories, right? You'd both be right, but it depends on your relative position to those things. Does that make sense? So the story is always unique to you. And, and your subjective relationship to the subject. Okay? All right. So is this making sense then, this idea that we have a spine and, and that also gives us a sense of direction? Yeah. Right. Okay. So now we're moving from this kind of gut movement, analytical though it be. Um, it's a real quick analysis. Like, for instance, I would have done that in maybe this drawing in probably 15 seconds, not three minutes or two minutes. Because I'm not talking it to myself. What I'm doing is I'm actually observing these things and taking the positions, getting them down. It's very direct. So it's almost physical from the gut. 